Welcome to the latest installment of Your Sommelier. We're in a restaurant, we're looking at a wine list. What to keep in mind when ordering a bottle for your table? So um, a lot of people ask me, should I choose what I'm gonna eat based on what I feel like drinking or the other way around? It doesn't really matter. Sometimes what you're in the mood for trumps everything else. The difficulty is taking into account what the people at the table with you want to drink. So finally, you have a few ideas in mind. You're looking at the wine list and always take your time to look at the list before you call for the sommelier. So you're looking at the wine list. The Bordeaux that you feel like, it's out of your price range. Go for a wine from the Southwest. The Southwest is a region where you can find way better quality price ratios. Or ask your waiter if there is a Bordeaux blend from another country or other region outside of Bordeaux. You may be pleasantly surprised. Then look at the countries that are represented on the menu. Now, in general, if someone has put a wine from the Czech Republic on the menu or a wine from Germany, there's got to be a reason behind it. They've tried it beforehand, they want it on their list, there's got to be some merit to it. Ask about it. See if the way he describes the wine speaks to you. Finally, a little pointer about vintage. You look at the wine list and a lot of the vintages are from the last three or four years. In general, that's how it is. But some of them could be way older and be in a very moderate price range, sometimes medium. This is a 2008 Ribirac from Cote Catalan. It's 100% Syrah. For the price of $72, you're getting wine that is nearly 10 years old. That is unbeatable. That's a winery that decides to commercialize their wine when they judge it's ready to drink. So you've got all these questions. You've got a few things that kind of intrigue you. You're ready to talk to the sommelier. And with those questions that you ask him, he'll get a feel for what you're looking for. And that's way different than allowing the sommelier to kind of do guesswork and see what type of wine drinker you are when you've given him nothing to work with. And that's the danger. Sommelier comes to the table a little bit befuddled with a bottle of wine and you may or may not like. Now look, his goal here is for you to enjoy the wine. So you can technically say, I'd like to try something else. So he'll take it away, but he can open three or four bottles just to see whether you like it or not. You've got to give him something to work with. That being said, I hope this was informative for you. And next time you go to a restaurant, pick out something based on these guidelines. Enjoy. Salute.